Today I'm going to talk about how to keep your pool looking sparkling blue using the BBB method. It's a method promoted on the three largest pool forums you'll find on the internet. Basically you're going to use household products that you would find in your regular grocery store and that would be bleach, borax, and baking soda to balance your pool water. And you would just add one more chemical to that mix which is muriatic acid. You can find that in your local hardware store that would lower the pH down if it gets too high. Along with using the Clorox bleach, the baking soda, the razor alkalinity, and the borax to raise your pH, you're going to need just muriatic acid from your local pool store or hardware store. I use 31% muriatic acid on my route. You can find this in the pool store. If you go to a hardware store, you may get a little weaker acid solution, but that's how you lower your pH is with the muriatic acid in your pool. And again, you raise your pH with the borax, you raise the alkalinity with the baking soda, and you sanitize your water with the Clorox bleach. So the Clorox bleach is the same exact ingredient that you would find in liquid chlorine that you would get at your pool store or local hardware store. The one I use on my route is 12.5% sodium hypochlorite. And then your bleach here, this is actually a concentrated Clorox bleach. Let me get the label here. And it's uh, sodium hypochlorite, 8.25%. So it's a little bit weaker. And so if you test your water and your pH is too low, you would add the borax to bring it up. Yeah, if the pH is too high, you would add muriatic acid from your local hardware store or pool store to bring it down. And what you're trying to achieve is the ideal pH range of 7.4 to 7.6. That will make the, the Clorox bleach a lot more efficient in killing the bacteria and viruses in the pool. And you're also trying to achieve a balance with the alkalinity. You want to keep it between 80 and 120 parts per million in most swimming pools. And the alkalinity is tied in with the pH. So when you lower the pH with the muriatic acid, the alkalinity will drop. When you raise your pH with the borax, the alkalinity will rise slightly. So you want to use the baking soda to raise your, your alkalinity if it gets below 80. That will raise the alkalinity without raising the pH hardly at all. And one of the main reasons you want to keep the alkalinity in range and it prevents pH bounce. That's when your pH goes high and low rapidly. And having alkalinity out of range will cause that to happen. So the good thing about using Clorox bleach in your pool, it won't raise your conditioner level like the trichlor tablets with dichlor. So you have to make sure you have a residual amount of conditioner. I recommend 30 to 50 parts per million of cyanuric acid. You can use a test strip like this AquaCheck here to get a conditioner reading here. Or you can use a Taylor test kit, which I prefer. It has Part of doing the BBB method successfully is to have a good test kit. And I recommend the Taylor test kit here. This particular one is the Taylor Complete High K2005. Does the calcium hardness test, your alkalinity, conditioner, pH, your chlorine. Also does your acid demand and base demand test. Use a basic 5-in-1 test kit. I use this on my route a lot. It does alkalinity. It also does your pH and acid demand. And it uses a yellow OTO to test for your chlorine level. And I also recommend the AquaCheck test strips to use once in a while to get a ballpark figure. It's a good way to kind of verify your test results with the Taylor kit or the 5-in-1 kit. Drop one of these in your pool and it gives you a pretty good ballpark of where your chemistry is at. One important thing to know is the size of your swimming pool. And for this to be effective, you have to know how many gallons of water you have in your pool. So you can add the right amount of the Clorox bleach, the borax, the baking soda, 
or the muriatic acid to your pool to balance the chemicals. So using the BBB method is a really inexpensive way of maintaining your pool. You can find all these products in the household aisle at your local store. You can even find muriatic acid sometimes in the garden section of your local store. And by maintaining your water balance, the right sanitizer level and pH, you won't need to worry about having a lot of algae outbreaks in your pool either. And that'll save you money without having you shocking your pool every week or two to maintain the balance of the water. And so that's a quick look at the BBB method used in maintaining your pool.